Hi, I'm Nate Roth with CNET, and today we're checking out the ASUS VivoBook S451LA, which is kind of a mouthful. So this $700 14-inch laptop is about an inch thick, so it's pretty thin, but it weighs 5 pounds, so it's not exactly an ultra-portable machine. But you know what? It looks, it looks pretty. Uh, it's got a brushed metal lid and a metal body and a plastic base. So at, at a blush, at first blush, it looks like a really, you know, like a premium machine. But then you open it up. Now, it's a $700 machine, so we aren't too surprised by the 1366 by 768 resolution. Still, that's kind of disappointing. That said, it is a touchscreen, and it's nice, responsive touchscreens too, which is, you know, that's, that's pretty good, especially on Windows 8. If you like touching Windows 8, you know, you won't be too disappointed by this touchscreen. Let's talk about the keyboard and trackpad, though. Um, now, because it's a, again, because it's a 14-inch machine, you've got a lot of space. The keyboard and the trackpad, they're both nice and wide and spacious. That's good. Unfortunately, the trackpad isn't super accurate. There are a lot of gestures baked in to sort of, you know, get you a little more familiar with Windows 8, things like swiping in from the left to switch between apps and things like that. But it isn't too accurate. You know, as I, as I try to track around, it doesn't always catch my gestures. And that can be kind of annoying. The keyboard isn't backlit. Again, for a $700 machine, we don't necessarily expect a backlit keyboard, but that's still pretty disappointing. Now, inside, we've got a fourth generation Core i5 processor, 6 gigs of RAM, and a 500 gig hard drive. That's decent, but it's a 500 gig spinning platter hard drive. Now, if it were an SSD, that'd be phenomenal. I would have settled for a hybrid drive at this point, but the, that slower drive is going to affect your performance a bit. The rest of the specs, though, you know, again, they're not bad. At $700, it's not a bad price, and it's not a terrible machine, but you can do better. If you spend a little bit more, you could get machines that are either slightly bigger, or offer a better resolution, or maybe even a discrete graphics card. This machine offers Intel integrated graphics, which has gotten better, admittedly, but it's not going to be good if you want to get very much gaming done or anything like that, or even photo editing. Now, I personally believe that Windows 8 on a notebook is greatly helped by a touchscreen, but if you don't agree, then 700 bucks is actually kind of a steep price for what you're getting here. I'm Nate Ralph, and be sure to read the full review on the Asus VivaBug S451 LA. Again, that's a mouthful. Read the full review on CNET.com. Thanks for watching.